This is episode 33 of the Just Ask Joey podcast. And she was like, who? And he was like, ah. And we was like, what? And she was like, who? And he was like, ah. And we was like, what? Just ask Joey. Hello, and welcome to Just Ask Joey. I'm your host, Joey. This is the only place on the internet where a former idiot answers your questions to help you either avoid idiocy or get over your idiocy. And to just kind of help you out with questions and things you're going through, in life in general. You know, kind of nothing's off, nothing's off limits. The only things that I will not discuss are things that I don't know about. I will not sit here and patronize you guys with answers to things that I haven't gone through or dealt with or been close enough to to have a strong opinion on. So today's question is is a heavy one because people deal with this all the time and it's hate. And what do you do with your hate? What do you do if you hate somebody? Or what do you do if you hate a group? How do you deal with hate? There's a lot of crazy things that have been going on um, in the world, country and every, everywhere. There's, there's, but they're, they're happening with individuals. You can't say, oh, this whole group is this or this whole group is that. It's just individual people. I just listened to the, the, Tim, the newest Tim Ferriss podcast with, with Tony Robbins. And he made a really good point, which is you can guarantee that those people that shot up people in Orlando, that killed people in Nice, that killed people in San Bernardino, you can guarantee that those people were not filled with love. Those were hateful people. Hate's ugly anyways. Hate's unhealthy for you anyways. But hate can really turn a situation into a horrible situation. So it's best to get control over the hate while you can. The way to get rid of your hate and to control your hate is to rewrite the narrative. I don't think people understand how strong their brain is, like how much power and how much, but how much control you have over your brain. You tell your brain basically what to think and then your brain reciprocates by thinking that way. That's kind of the way it works. So you can either fill your brain with hate or you can fill your brain with love. You can fill your brain with looking backwards or you can fill your brain with looking forwards. But it's up to you. Because the brain is a muscle, the more you practice, the more you produce. So if you're practicing hate and you're practicing negativity, you will produce more hate and more negativity. If you're practicing love and you're practicing forgiveness and you're practicing looking forward, that's what you're going to produce more of. So it's up to you what you want to do. The most important thing that you can take from this podcast is that life is not what happens to you. Life is what you do with it. There's a reason, and I wish I knew who said this, but there's a, there's a reason why the windshield is so big and the rearview mirror is so small. It's because you're supposed to be looking forward. This podcast will help you look forward as opposed to looking in your little tiny rearview mirror, which you shouldn't be looking in anyways. The first step to dealing with hate is to turn it around and not to take away anything that they did to you or continue to do to you or will continue to do to you, but it's to look at it from a different angle. This person brought out negativity in you, which means they exposed some kind of a weakness. If they didn't expose that weakness, you would not be able to address it and you would still be going through life and every day with, without that knowledge of what the weakness is. They have a, they've allowed you to become who you are today. Whether it's your parents or a coworker or a brother or sister, aunt and uncle, somebody, they've allowed you to be stronger today because of what they put you through yesterday. Instead of going, oh, you put me through all this stuff yesterday. Instead, look at who you are today. Look at yourself in the mirror and, and recognize the strength that you have today because of what they did yesterday. You wouldn't have that. You wouldn't be who you are today if it wasn't for them. And if you don't like who you are right now, 
that's not because of them. That's because of you. So it's time to flip that around and take the hardships that they put you through. Take the negativity that they brought out in you. Take the bad feelings about yourself, the bad feelings that they about life, about whoever that they've given you and flip it around because of that attack, you're able to be stronger today or you will be able to be stronger tomorrow because of it. If you're not feeling that you're in a good place now, now's the time to really flip it around and and use what they broke and use how they broke you down as a thank you to them for allowing you to build up stronger than you were before. Um, I like to look at it as, this is like middle school math, but I like to look at it as a, like an absolute value. So whether you're a negative 10 or a 10 on the number line, your value is 10. So somebody may come at you negatively, negative 10, negative 10, negative 10, negative 10, but that's still a plus 10 for your absolute value. You're still 10 away from zero. Now, could you know? Is it much nicer to be a positive ten? Yeah, because things are coming at you positively. But even even though it's coming at you negatively and you're negative ten, it's still a ten. So you you have to look at the relationship of you and this person or these people as what you gained from the relationship. What was the gain? And even though they gave you a negative ten, your gain is a positive ten. I hope that makes sense. I hope you guys can remember back to middle school math. Or if, if you're really smart, maybe like fourth grade math. Look at look for the positives that they gave you. Look for what you've gained from that relationship. Even though it was a negative relationship, what have they taught you about yourself? What have they allowed you to overcome? What have they allowed you to persevere through? Those are all positives. Those are all positive things that you can pull from a negative situation. The second step, and this is something, like I'm not giving you guys stuff that I don't I don't do. So this thing is stuff I actually I actually use. The second thing is uh, very hippy, very hippy dippy sounding. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to close your eyes, and I want you to picture the person or persons that you hate. It's just you and them standing in a room, and you're just looking at them. Tell them how they make you feel. Tell them the things that they're doing that are causing you stress, causing you to f- feel these feelings, have these negative feelings, how it's impacting you. You, you're not, you don't need to yell at them. You're not screaming at them. You're just talking to them. Everybody's calm. It's just a conversation. Now, tell them that they are not going to affect you anymore because you're not going to let them. And then I want you to walk over to them Stand face to face, wrap your arms around them, give them a big hug, and tell them that you love them. This is all in your head. You don't actually have to do this, but you could try it. I don't know. But this is all in your head. And imagine that. Imagine you wrapping their your arms around them and hugging them and telling them that you love them. You love them because of who they are. You love them because of what they've allowed you to become you love them for what they taught you but you love them and tell them that over and over again feel it feel the love transferring from you to them through that hug and then every time after this that you are having a negative feelings about them or they're bringing you down just imagine hugging them and telling them that you love them and eventually because we control our mind, our mind does not control us, the feelings of hate, the chemicals that 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 hate releases in the body, the stress that that releases in the body will start to go away and you'll start to feel better. And it it, it doesn't sound hippie, it is hippie, but it works. Your mind is so powerful. You can control how you perceive things by telling your mind how to perceive them. If you want to be happier, think more happy thoughts. So as soon as a negative thought comes in, think of a happy thought. You want to have more self-esteem? 
tell yourself how great you are. Don't let yourself think negative thoughts about, about you. Tell it. Just tell yourself over and over again, all the time, every day. Look in the mirror. Tell yourself. Imagine yourself hugging yourself. Imagine yourself loving yourself. And eventually, your brain will become conditioned to think that way. And you can be more positive. You can be more hopeful. And you can be more loving. And you can be more caring. And most importantly, you can be less hateful. And you can be less angry. But you decide on how you feel. Don't give people the power to make you angry. That's the only way that they can do it. That's the only way they can make you hate or make you sad or make you angry is if you let them. But if you don't let them, then they can't do it. So use the power of your mind. Sit back. Meditate on it. Take the people you hate the most and imagine them in your mind. Give them a hug and tell them you love them. And then you can take that negative 10 that they've been giving you. You can take what you've gotten out of that relationship, the negative 10 that they gave you, and you can make it a plus 10. Because there's always a positive when there's a negative. But it's how you look at it. All right, if you guys have any other questions about this or anything else we cover, please feel free to hit me up on Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, wherever you can find me. Um, Facebook has actually picked up is going back and forth with the, with the Facebook messenger, but Snapchat seems to be the most preferred method. I, it doesn't really matter to me how you reach me. Um, but just don't let's don't sit on stuff. Don't let stuff get to you and, 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 and fester and build up. It doesn't have to build up. There are people out there that have been through some serious stuff that can help you get through whatever it is that you're getting through but you have to give them the chance to do that, okay? Uh, football season starting, which is why I'm wearing my 49ers beanie. Go Niners, big season this year, new coach. Don't know who the quarterback's going to be, but still pumped on it. Um, if you guys have any football questions or want to talk sports, football, anything like that, with football season starting, I'd like to open that up. I'm thinking uh, I'm going to add a show a week and just focus on football. If you're enjoying this podcast, please uh, please subscribe to it. Share it, tell your friends, ask questions, interact. This is all about interaction. Um, I like answering questions that are going to help you guys. So please keep sending them to me. This is fantastic stuff. I love this. And the next episode, episode 34, is going to be about, is going to be my secret to sleeping better. And we can all sleep better, right? All right. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. And she was like, huh? and he was like, nah. and we was like, what?